All right, guys, good morning. Welcome to another Good Morning Linux for the first Sunday of 2020. Hope you're all doing well. This will be more or less um, open topics, open topic, open chat type of discussion. I do have a question for you. Uh, what are your Linux predictions for this year? I predict I will make many, many more new Linux friends. So cheers and happy new year. Hope all is well. All right, let me check the stream here. Let's see if it's good. Anybody out there? Say hello. You know the drill. Yep, yeah, looks good. Okay. We'll leave that there. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me pop out the chat. If you haven't already, uh, I posted a couple of reviews, well not really reviews, but the last two videos, um, go ahead and um, take a look at real uh, real uh, test, real world tests of the new Moto G7 phone that I got. It's the Moto G7 Plus. Hi Dan, welcome. And uh, you may want to take a look at that. Uh, one, one thing about product reviews, yeah, Dan says more forked, more forked distros, I know. Too much tweaking. Everything gets forked up. <laughs> That's one for Dan for the new year. Uh, anyway, let me... Um, Dan, has the sound? how is the sound? How's the background music? Is it too loud? Music is from the YouTube audio library. Let's go to transition. Voila. There we go. It's magic. <laughs> more forked distros. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Hopefully not, Dan. <laughs> but um what was I saying yeah I posted a couple of videos of short videos of a uh, real world 4k tests sound is okay thank you sir uh, 4k tests of the Moto G7 plus if you're in the market for a new smartphone check out the Moto G7 phones they're awesome I think it's the best deal out there but I posted some short 4k video tests uh, straight from the phone with very little talking or no talking. Uh, I think most of you like it. Some of didn't like it. Some of posted unsubscribed. I guess they don't like that kind of video. It's not normally the kind of videos I do. But one thing I noticed. Hi, Bobby. Uh, one thing I noticed from uh, YouTubers doing product reviews. There are times I wanted to say, shut up. Just show me. Respectfully. Or I'll turn it down a bit. And, um, yeah, so the last two videos, uh, I either did very little talking or no, or no talking. And, uh, anyway, just to help someone out who might be in the market for a phone, uh, hopefully it will help you out. I'll, I'll do more of a full review when I have time. And, uh, so let me know if you guys like those kind of product review videos, real world tests with little or no talking again it's not <laughs> yeah yeah tell a new yorker to stop talking good freaking luck with that <laughs> anyway um it's just something i thought that might help some people out like i said i realize some of you may not like the kind of video and unsubscribe or whatever but hey i do this to help people out fidel long time no see i know welcome Welcome to the new year. So, if we have any new people watching, uh, this is one of the ways I do live shows. Ubuntu Mate, sometimes at the windows, but not as much. OBS, as you see here. Of course, my Ubuntu Mate desktop VLC and the pop out chat. And this is how I transition. Yeah. So, say hello. If you would like to support the live shows, uh, check out the links below in the show notes. Can't do these without you. Without you, this channel would be terminated. <laughs> Go see the last Terminator movie. It's it's stupid, but it's fun. It's fun. Um, what else was I going to say? We did a, a, um, 
a private uh, supporter chat uh, last night. Man, you guys missed out. <laughs> Poor Tim O. Tim O. There's several Tims who watch this. <laughs> Tim jumped on late. <laughs> Tim jumped on late on the private chat, and he sounded like he said, "Hi, Derek." He sounded like chipmunks. <laughs> it was totally unexpected. I, I posted a sneak peek of that. You guys can check it out. <laughs> but anyway, Tim jumped on. <laughs> you know, if you guys can join us on, on on the private shows, they're a hoot. You know, they're a hoot. If, if you know, you can join in through PayPal or Patreon. You know, for as little as a dollar a month. So. Anybody who supports the live show of the channel, you're automatically invited, of course. But that was a hoot. <laughs> was a hoot when he jumped on. Anyway. More niche distros, Derek? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going to be uh, taking a look at the latest Zorin. Although it's probably a little bit more known now than it was, say, five years ago. Uh, anyway. Bobby says, yes, I agree. Some some don't show the distros up as much as they could. More about the reviewer. Okay. Yeah, I do things differently. Uh, some people like it. it it's it's kind of like a mixture, Bobby. It's like half half the people like it, half don't. I don't know if that's normal or not for Linux. But I, I do things my way. I try to do these uh, reviews or shows from the eyes of a Windows or a Linux newbie and I have to be honest it's getting tougher and tougher because I use Windows like 10% of the time maybe less I use mainly Linux like Ubuntu Mate and Linux Mint and Zorin so it's hard it's you know it's it's, it's hard to put myself in the eyes of a Linux newbie after 13 years but I think that's what makes this channel unique as a niche 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 channel um uh yeah uh go to uh, go to there, there's a link below derek thank you um um it's just go to patreon.com it's tos today if, if you look below in the show notes there's there's a few links and uh, i let people decide what they want to contribute a dollar a month or more that's entirely up to you but anybody on, on that list is automatically invited to a live show and you don't have to jump on the live shows if you contribute. Or you can jump on and not give your real name. Some people don't give their real names, and that's fine. That's fine. It's just my way of saying thank you. Because I, I can't do these without you. So, Linux is not a profitable subject. As <laughs> some of you may have noticed. Um, but it's what I do. I always like how you do it in OBS. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah. Um, I'm going to sip some of my morning tea. I haven't been on Linux for months. Oh, why is that, Fidel? Does something happen? I'm sorry to hear that. I think. Um, I've been lucky with with. Well, I can't really say lucky. I, you know, after 13 years of exposure to Linux, it's 99 percent of for the stuff I know was self-taught. It's not. I would not recommend that for Linux newbies coming from Windows, but. Uh, I've taken the the uh, the uh, the <laughs> I've taken the beatings for you. So any Linux newbies out there, you can avoid the mistakes I've made. You can avoid the the, uh, the headaches I've made. Uh, and just to let people know, I, I didn't get paid to learn Linux. Um, you know, when this channel first started out, it wasn't making any money. It it took a couple years. You know, but. I liked. I thought Linux had a future ten years ago, when I started the channel, and it. And of course, here we are. So, I said, oh, my pain is your gain. I guess is one way to look at it. But yeah, this channel was and will continue to be different. Um, anyway, so what are your Linux predictions? This is uh, this is an open comment uh, show. I'm still so in love with Windows because of games. Just forgot of the bot. I, I I would have to agree, Fidel. The problem with Linux, with uh, sorry, with Windows 10 is you just don't know 
which updates will break the system or break something in the system. I've never seen anything like this in Windows. Um, and it, it doesn't matter what kind of machine you have. My son's uh, laptop he uses for school was not cheap. And I have to tell you, for a $1,000 Windows machine, or any machine that's $1,000, it could be Linux machine, it could be Mac, Chromebook, for a $1,000 Linux machine, to have Windows updates break the system is t completely unacceptable, in my opinion. So in my no BS opinion, Windows 10, at least the Windows 10 updates can no longer be trusted. Um, yeah, so no longer be trusted. And that's why I still recommend Windows 10 if you have to use it, but you have to be careful. Um, for people who, uh, uh, who don't have to use Windows and you don't have time to download a Linux distribution and learn something new, you know, maybe you're a doctor or a nurse, married to three kids, you don't have time to learn something new, but I've heard of Linux to try a Chromebook. It's fabulous. I have a Chromebook. I don't use it as much. It's, it's a little bit underpowered, uh, for live shows. It's capable. Yeah, but man, it's updates are, are invisible. Insane speed. I've never seen anything like the speed of a Chromebook. It's it's almost like it's fake. You know how they say fake news, it's like a fake Chromebook. Well well they are real. But anyway, that's my advice as far as Linux goes. Linux has been a lot more stable these days. Um some. Um I think Debian Ubuntu based solid as a rock. You know, last night on the private chat, we were talking with Ben, trying to mess with Arch, and he says, you know, this is, it just takes too much time, too many things break, too much tweaking. So he's, I think he's going back to Ubuntu base, and that's understandable. You know, there's nothing wrong with learning something new in Linux or something that's hard, like Arch or terminal commands. There's nothing wrong with that if you have the time. But it is time consuming. Um, you have to find the right one for you. One person could have a bad experience on the same. These shows you're using, you don't have that. All comes down to hardware. Yes, it does come down to hardware, Bobby. Absolutely. But generally speaking, Debian Ubuntu based. That I, you know, I keep coming back to those like Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu. Linux Mint, Zorn, there's just, and Debian's been around since the 90s, I think. You know, you know Dan says Debian is, is the rock. It just, Debian has been proven, or Debian based, such as Ubuntu. Uh, I like the Mate desktop because it's just simple. It just, you know, it's, I'm not into Flash or, you know, all that stuff. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But this just works. Less time fixing things means more time for you. More time, you know, doing tutorials. Uh, last week I did a, I uploaded a brief uh, tutorial on printers for Linux. Five ways to install printer drivers. Hi, hi Yugi. Uh, at least five ways to install printer drivers in Linux uh, to help some people out. Uh, those type of videos seem to be a little bit more you know, informative and popular. So check it out. So what are your predictions for Linux for this year? As I sip my tea. I like this song, by the way. Heard so good blues. <sighs> well, thank you, Derek. All right, sir, you are invited to the next show if you would like to jump on. Derek, do you live in the States or are you in a, in a, um, do you live overseas? Hello, Razor. Somebody has a hard time using Zoom, I guess, okay? My notifications, I should shut those off, but... Anyway, am I? You're you're in the states. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Yeah, I usually try to do the um, the uh, the shows on the weekends, uh, the invitation shows, either Friday or uh, Saturday nights. If that's okay with you, then. You know. Yeah, I f I figured it was Michigan. Thank you, Derek. All right, so you're on the same time as I'm in Ohio. So, all right, maybe I'll catch you next week. Um, if you'd like to join the live shows or the private shows, again, you don't have to give your real name, obviously. I know who you are, but, uh, you know, a simple camera will suffice. Or, honestly, you don't even need a camera, Derek. Just a, I, I, I would request a headset mic uh, to avoid, like, like feedback, noise, but you don't even need a, you don't even need a camera. Yeah, <laughs> cannoli for breakfast. Well, Steve, uh, I had some garlic breadsticks. No freaking cannolis this morning. See, the Italian store is closed on Sundays. Out of respect to the boss upstairs, okay? Uh, Yugi has a prediction. Linux is going to be a lot more in the spotlight because more people are becoming aware. Well, I think channels like mine, uh, I've been doing that for the last 10 years. I think people are aware of Linux, Yugi. But they're stuck because they can't walk into a store and buy a Linux desktop, like an Ubuntu or a Linux Mint, and, 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 and I think that's the problem. Jesper says, hey there, I am an Ubuntu Mate user. Yay! Awesome! Everybody, give it up for Jesper. Say hello to Jesper. Welcome to the live show. Works for you. This is a of time, but we'll work part-time soon, I hope. I have a headset mic you use for Biddle. Excellent. All right, Derek, hope to catch you um, next uh, weekend. Thank you for your contribution to what I believe to be a world-class community. Desktop computers will shrink in physical size in the 20s. I think so, Dan. Uh, yeah, Pop OS, okay, very good. Come on, people, give it up for Jesper. He has brains on the show. He uses Ubuntu, but I'm just kidding. Well, that is smart, I have to admit. Come on, say hello to Jesper. Don't be shy. <laughs> Bobby says, uh, hope for one or two main distros that everyone can use. That is very easy to use. A computer that comes with Linux uh, by default. Big box store. That would be awesome. Come on, say hi to Jesper. You Say hi to Jesper now while I'm leaving. <laughs> Sorry, it's my New York attitude sometimes kicks in. Um, well, it would be great to see Linux desktop in the big box store. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, anyway. More people will try it out, but won't switch right away. They will stick with what they want, regardless if it's out of life or not. Um, it's... it's uh, Oh, Jesper's from Denmark. Excellent. I believe our singer friend Stephanie has played in Denmark, if I am not mistaken, Jesper. And Happy New Year to you, Jesper. How are things in Denmark? Um, let me, let me uh, keep going with my morning tea. I actually wouldn't mind some peppermint tea right now, Steve. I have to go back to uh, Walmart. They, they carry mint tea. I'm sure if I went to Walmart and cracked the joke, yes, I like to drink my peppermint OST. They, they, they would probably look at me like, but that's okay. That's okay. Um... I think one of the reasons why Chromebooks are selling Linux space because people can walk into a store. They're used in classrooms or all over freaking Amazon. It's something tangible. It's something that people can touch and feel and try. And I think that's why Chromebooks have exploded in popularity. Um, that's the power of Linux. Lolly2.0 says, hi, sir. Well, hello to you, sir. I think you're a sir. If you're a girl, I apologize. How are you, Lolly? Welcome to Good Morning Linux. And good morning to everybody. Not just Linux users. Again, pardon me if I sip my tea. 
that's why I don't want to show my camera. I mean, I want to, you know, but yeah. Delicious tea. Mm -hmm. ah, Lipton tea. All that kindness, you make me blush. All fine here, but bad weather. Ah, well, Jesper, um, it is 30 degrees Fahrenheit here in Ohio, and it's raining and snowing, so yeah. No need to blush, my friend. Welcome. Peppermint OS is playing up at the moment. Uh oh. Lolly says, rec what recommend? Uh, Manjaro or Linux Mint playing games using Wine and Steam and other stuff. Um, I think if you are new to the world of Linux, absolutely Linux Mint. Uh, I don't use Wine, it's never worked for me. Steam, I've heard good things about Steam, Lolly. Uh, but for your question, I would say uh, Linux Mint. Absolutely. Any more predictions for this year? Um, the Raspberry Pis are going to be very good this year. It's an easy way to learn Linux. Um, it's different, Yugi. I don't know if, if, if they're for newbies, but yeah, I'd say it's it's one way to learn about uh, Linux. Sure. She's listening to a podcast. Oh, the missus. She's, you know, Steve's the big shot now. His, his wife, I think it's Stephanie, right? I think Steve said his wife got him a year subscription to Zoom. Well, excuse me. So Steve's the big shot. He's going to be, uh, he'll, he'll be able to host uh, Zoom shows more than 40 minutes. Zoom is good. Zoom would be my first choice. I think StreamYard my second choice. It has some added features, but Steve is definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. You have a very smart, kind wife. With a great name. Who knew? <laughs> uh, so great they fixed tearing in Ubuntu 19.10. Okay. I think the next Ubuntu 2004 is going to be even better. Uh, Jesper, so yeah. Um, it's been Viking. Welcome. Again, if we have new people joining in, uh, please do stop by and say hello. Sergey! Prediction says Slackware 15.0 will finally come out. Thank God. I've had so many sleepless nights waiting for, for that to come out. I'm just kidding. Welcome. Hello, Simon. Um. Anyway. I might do, um. I might do a, uh. Ha, um. Building. Not building. I'm trying to think of the word. Building a YouTube studio. Not building as in construction lumber, but building a studio, how to set it up. I might do that. Building building a YouTube studio on, 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 on a budget. How does that sound? Or cr creating a YouTube studio on, on a budget. I might do that. Maybe, maybe some behind the scenes. I don't think I've ever done that. Have I? Um... Now, how does that sound? Building a YouTube studio on a budget. Lolly has Linux Mint 19.3, dual with Windows 10. Aha! You want to switch 100% Linux? It's possible, Lolly. Absolutely Linux Mint. Do not go with Manjaro, in my opinion. I'm just telling you, if unless you are experienced, I'm experienced and I don't like Manjaro. Personal, personal preference. Linux Mint 100%. Yeah, I would go with Mint. Your new car will spy on your every move. <laughs> That's a prediction, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. One of my predictions this year is that people will be more aware of privacy or the lack of privacy. They will demand more privacy laws, more privacy 
on the web, more privacy from your computer. All I can say is good luck with that. And, and you know, and he, I mean, look, I, I, I joke about privacy like I don't care. No, I absolutely care. I don't like it. But here's the problem. How do you erase yourself off the web? If you truly want to, be, if, if we define privacy the way we define privacy, how, you, how do you erase yourself off the web? That's the only way to be private. It's impossible. As we say in New York, forget about it. So, I don't know. Hi, Rudy. Myth is a good start. And take a look at Farron OS. Sounds good to me, sir. Welcome. Derek says you spy on your wife and she spies on you. Wow, okay. Live 360, a GPS tracking app that helps us know when the other is home, the other might be in trouble. Ah. Yes, that is a very good explanation, Derek. Absolutely. If I ever get married again, I will use that explanation to help what we do. <laughs> Linux predictions focus on the new Ubuntu. I, I believe the, the next Ubuntu 20.04 will be better. Kohler is making it an Alexa shower head. Yes. So we can have spying in the shower, Steve. Why not? There's spying everywhere else. <laughs> spy versus spy, yes. Go Tor or Unix if you are. Yeah, Tor does help. Um, Tor will make you a little bit more private and anonymous. Yes. Jesper asks, is your stream also on library? L-A-L-B-R-O-I. Jesper, I, it is not. I've heard of it. Um... I may put these on on a on a. I think I've had too much sugar in the tea on a, on a Vimeo. I've been using that privately uh, for three years because it's password protected. I may put them on Vimeo. The 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 this is a, there's a couple of reasons why I would call Vimeo an alternative to uh, YouTube or a possible alternative is not, number one. It, it's it's a professional uh, type of website social streaming service it's not free for it's free for you but not really free for me if i go for the year yearly program but it there's this password password protection there's no ads so you guys uh could go to that to the toss today uh, videos on vimeo there's absolutely no ads that's great but it's bad to boot this means there's no adsense and no revenue for the t content creator I would consider hopping over the Vimeo if I had enough supporters where I would not even worry about AdSense. But to answer your, quest, your question, Jesper, I've had, I've heard good things about Library. I do not use it. Thank you. Yeah, Alexa, make it rain. The Trident Project will get some growth in the second half of this year. All right, that's Serge's prediction. Very good. Uh, grab those groceries, Derek. I'll stick on a little bit longer. Michael Lindorf is in the house. How are you, Michael? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alexa, turn off, turn off this hot water during the shower. Yeah, really. Here's hoping Canada kicks Russia's butt in the World Junior Hockey. Ah, okay. Quality vids on Vimeo. Um, I like Vimeo, Rudy. It's it's um. Yeah, it's I've been using it, like I said, almost three years, and it it just works. Um, it's not really cheap for me if I want to do live streaming on Vimeo. It'd be approximately a thousand a year. That may seem like a lot, but considering there's no ads for you guys, it's less clutter. It's not unreasonable uh, for me to jump on Vimeo, but I would have to have you know, a lot more supporters than I do now. You know. What about peer? To I've heard of Hello Jelly. Oh, sorry. I've heard about that too. The thing is, is Jelly and Jesper with with these possible alternatives. I've I've heard from other tubers who jumped jumped on that they all have their problems. Not earth shattering issues, but maybe a little problem with this, a little problem with that. Not quite as user. They all have their little little you know things that don't make it quite as viable to jump over there at least not today 
So with Vimeo, I've had zero problems. But then again, if, if I'm paying for it, why would I want to pay for problems? And that's that's the good thing about paying for a service. You know, they can hire more people, less bugs, issues. With these free services, you know, it's awesome that it's free. It's awesome that it's open source, but you're going to run into more problems. So, yeah, so right now for me, the only alternative for me would be Vimeo because it just works and it's professional. Less clutter. Very easy to use. Password protection, all that stuff. Um, but to, to do streaming, you would have to jump to the more uh, higher level uh, which is, I think, it's seventy-five dollars a month. Again, considering what they do, it's it's not it's not unreasonable. Yeah, I just this channel just just have to have that kind of budget. But I'm sure to watch all the videos ad-free, I think would be awesome, right? Free stuff is not free, right? Then someone's got to pay for it, right? Now on YouTube, of course, YouTube covers the cost because of ad revenue and all that. And that's a big, that's a big plus. But if I had, if, if I had enough sponsors or supporters, I would probably, I would probably do more, a lot more in Vimeo with no ads. I, I think it makes it more enjoyable to watch something and not be interrupted by ads. Anyway. The Free Software Foundation, Foundation will have a new president this year. Okay. Very good. My tea is almost finished. Uh, Steve, will you bring me some more tea, please? Bada bing. <laughs> hmm. Lipton tea, that was deli delicioso. Do we have any Italians in the house? Delicioso. Where's, where's, uh, where's Joey? Where's Joey? Anyway, um, any more Linux predictions? Steve is uploading now, okay. Um, I'll have a few more uh, uh, tests with the Moto G7 uh, Plus phone. Uh, I think, again, if you're in the market for a uh, inexpensive, fabulous smartphone. I think I posted an Amazon link below in the show notes. That's another way to support the channel. You've heard of Amazon affiliate links. If you're shopping on Amazon, uh, check out the link below. It doesn't cost you anything and the channel gets a little kickback. Uh, Jelly says, easy anti-cheat will get better support on wine. Ah, okay. Linux gaming is going to be a lot better this year. Okay, it has gotten it has gotten better over the years, Yugi. I still say that Windows 10 will continue to dominate. Why is that? Because once again, without a universal standard Linux desktop, which means a standard level of quality, Linux will never surpass Windows until that happens. And I think Linus Torvalds who many consider the father of Linux said it best. The problem is, here we are 25 years later since his inception of Linux, and we don't have a, a Linux desktop for the masses because of fragmentation. I, that, he's not too happy about that, but he likes Chromebooks. Yeah. There will be a very slight increase of the Linux market share this year. I would agree, Serge. I will agree that the Linux market share will increase higher than the distribution of my mom's homemade bread. <laughs> Slide is the key word. I know. Um, what is the notification here? On my new phone. Oh, it's from Patreon. Sorry. Thank you, Derek. Derek is a new patron. Thank you, sir. That's one thing I like about one thing about Patreon: uh, it's notifications, easy interface. Um, anyway, thank you. Rudy is going to do the best to get more souls to use Linux. Excellent. That's what I've been doing for the last ten years, Rudy. 
Gaming more on Linux these days is much better in the past year. Yeah, it has gotten much better. I usually game on my Xbox. And the reason why is it's going to work 100% of the time. I don't have to download a, you know, a dev file or fix a bug or tweak this or video drive. It just works out of the box. But then again, that's what you're paying for. So, yeah. Any more predictions this year? Eric Adams will make more videos about LibreOffice. <laughs> LibreOffice is good. It's, uh... It's, um, it's, you know, LibreOffice comes pretty much standard, I think, in all of Linux distros, right, Serge? I think so. Yeah, Office, CalDraw, Impress, Math, Writer. Yeah, I don't use it a lot, but it's never failed me. It's awesome. Haven't used Windows for 10 years. Wow. Bliss. Windows 10 becomes a desktop environment. <laughs> Microsoft will blur the lines between Linux and Windows, yeah. Like I said, Michael, I don't know what happened with Windows 10 and the, uh, the, the atrocious update process. I've never seen anything like it. So many bugs. I, I, I haven't seen that, not even in Linux, o o o over 10 years of, you know, doing this channel. It's, 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 it's just weird. Linux will dominate the marketplace when Microsoft makes Windows based on the Linux kernel. Ah, okay. Spatchy will Spatchy's couple of Linux will return this year. I have not heard from him. I don't know, Yugi. I miss doing the news and nonsense with him. But I I picked up doing those uh, last year with our good friend Stephanie from uh, Germany. She's been a very good sport. So, you guys check out Stephanie's channel here. I'll write it in here. Um, she's an independent singer, songwriter, YouTuber, Heart of Gold. We actually met last year, last summer, a YouTube meetup. And that's one nice thing about the Linux community is meeting people. That's <laughs> a so Tim will get his anti issue. I know, man. It was so funny, Serge. Last night, he came on on the private show. And he sounded like chipmunks. I said, Tim, there's something wrong with <laughs> it. Was so, see, that's the beauty of Linux. It is unpredictable. And I mean that in all due respect to all the Linux. It's just, just fun. It's fun. It's funny, you know. Anyway, he had to reboot his antics laptop to get the thing to work. But it was so fun. I posted that short tease video on the channel. Check it out. It is freaking hilarious. I think only LXLE has Abby Word and Gene Numeric instead of Libre off. Uh, LXLE is much lighter, so I can see that. The public needs more education on Linux. Find out through shows like EB and Big Daddy Moral Windows users are joining the tribe and are prepared to try Linux. Yeah, I've been touting Linux for 10 years. It'll be 10 years in March, Rudy. Uh, it's, it's, it's a tough sell. I've noticed over, you know, almost 10 years it's a tough sell for several reasons again there is no national standard you can't walk into your best buy a walmart and buy an, an, an ubuntu machine it's not there that's number one N num number two linux and the top of, of linux is not profitable subject you know so somebody asked me toss are you doing this channel for the money if i want to do it for the money why am i talking about linux <laughs> just be honest you know so it's it's a tough sell I think the education is getting better with channels like this and Big Daddy, but it's 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 a tough sell, you know. Uh, you know, it's people are willing to buy Chromebooks, but that's as far as it goes. And that, when, like when I say people, I mean the masses, consumers, mom and dad, you know. Uh, Steam and Proton and Linux makes ninety percent of your Windows games out of the box with great, great and sometimes better performance. Okay. Yes, gaming on Linux has gotten better. I totally agree. Razors are using Linux 10 years. I've been using it since 2006. Let's agree that Linux today is a bit different than the past. Oh, on 100%. Look at Ubuntu when it was first introduced in 04 by Canonical. Now look at Ubuntu. If it wasn't for Ubuntu, I wouldn't be here. I, I remember reading about it in the tech mag and it said, hey, are you tired of Windows XP? Try Ubuntu. And I was like, what the frack is Ubuntu? 
and here I am. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Uh, Serge will start making his own videos this year. That's okay. <laughs> uh, Martin will make Mate great again. It already is. What are you talking about? It's been great uh, for the last uh, three, four years. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, I love this background music. Check out the YouTube audio library. Do, 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 do. Uh, anyway. You have to be as thick as a brick <laughs> if you cannot install a popular distro. The real test is always the hardware. Yes. Easy installers like Ubuntu or Ubuntu Base are not hard, Rudy. Yeah. The question is, will it work? Will, will it be compatible with the hardware? I agree. Installers have gotten better. You don't have to use terminal co commands, at least not with Ubuntu Base to install Ubuntu. Uh, so I would have to agree. <clears throat> Any other predictions? One hundred percent agree, Rudy. Ubuntu made Linux more visible to the masses. I think they are doing a great job. One hundred percent agree. More users will try an Arch-based distro this year. That's certainly possible. Using Terminal is the best. It's not the best for newbies, Jesper, but it is a great learning tool. And I, I will occasionally give little tutorials on the Terminal, little tweaks, little, not tweaks, but little tips here and there. You know, I don't want to scare all billion Windows users just to use the Terminal in Linux. That would not be fair. But it's, it's not hard, yeah. New distros with GUIs we have never seen before. Interesting. <laughs> Steve says he predicts he will screw up three live distro reviews this year. Only three? Come on. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> Love this. You have this love-hate relationship with Arch. Well, it's not for everybody. Uh, you know. <laughs> oh, speaking of terminal, let's try top. Yeah, there, there's a quick little terminal command tutorial for newbies. Top. See how simple that was, newbies? What's the other one? Um... Uh, HTOP, is that what it's called? I don't use the terminal. See, that's the thing about Ubuntu. You don't have to use the terminal. And it even, see, if I wanted to use HTOP, I can install it one of two ways. Snap, install, HTOP. Pseudo snap, or pseudo app, install, HTOP. See how easy that was, newbies watching this? Don't be afraid of the terminal. Um, anyway. Uh, Speaking of RAM usage, let's take a quick look here. Well, not too bad. Two and a half gigs using all of this. Very good. Well, there you go. Proton Mail will launch a privacy focused alternative to Google Calendar. I actually have Proton Mail, I use privacy, uh, privately. I like Proton Mail. Check it out. Let's give this a new. Uh, let's give this 15 minutes, and we'll wrap it up. It is actually lunchtime. 
<laughs> Apt may give you a snap. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, uh, Dan. It's nice to have a choice. <laughs> Steve said, did I say this year met this month? But a bing. Spin will try MX19. It is number one on Distro Watch. Yeah. Jesper likes Deb package. Generally speaking, I'll stick with Deb. There are times when the Deb package may not work for whatever reason. Maybe missing a dependency. Then you go with the snap. Everything you need is self-contained in the snap. So, yeah. But it's nice to have choices. Um, yeah. Checking my messages on my new phone. Okay. I got a friend of mine running for office, state office here in Ohio, so I'm helping him with this campaign. App images are nice. I've, I used App Image for Caden Live. It is superb, Razor. They are very nice. Excuse me while I blow my nose. Did some of you guys happen to catch my number one news nonsense story for 2019? You know, I've I've traveled. I I was born in New York. I've been to Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Canada, California, Vegas, Italy. I thought I've heard it all and seen it all. But last year's number one news nonsense story had to be there's, there, there, there's a new health suntanning craze. Do you know what that craze is? Butthole suntanning. I kid you not. Anyway, just a little bit off topic. Uh, last night, Biddle, there was a mention of an app image launcher. I thought I read that somewhere. Yeah. Gen 2 will get more distros based off of it. Okay. Well, Chromebooks are based off of Gen 2, Gen 2 or Gene 2, so why not? Anybody else new who's watching want to say hello? Say hello. Turtlehead Tan Salons. Oh. <laughs> that tense, that suntan story. I'm like, really? <sighs> yep, never un underestimate the power of stupidity, right? Yep, the CES show in Vegas tomorrow. Wish I was there. Consumer Electronics Show. Oh, I wish I was there. Wish I was there. Oh, well. I predict Windows 10 will continue to have update issues. Uh, boy, yeah. Removing snap support would break the whole thing. I don't know about that. Serge says, Stephanie will try some Linux distros, thanks to you. Um, Serge, I don't think she has the, the, the time. Uh, she has... She lives in Germany, and Germans in general use use Ubuntu or use Linux, and they love it. But because of what she does, she's always working. God bless her. You know, between writing for herself and writing for other artists and recording and YouTube, she actually sent me a message. She's going to be busy until the end of March, so don't expect too much from her. But if, if she had the time, Serge, absolutely she would try Linux. 
do, do. What games do I like to play on Linux and when I've been playing uh it's, it's been a while. I've been playing uh what's what's that racing game? Tux Racer? <laughs> Tux Racer on uh, Windows I like the racing game uh Asphalt Airborne, I think it's called. Uh yeah. Clippy moves to Linux. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> LTT will be hosted on Linux. I don't know. I agree. Her latest video was very creative. It was a one-man band. Love the song. Right here, right now. But, um, yeah. Yep. Very creative. I gotta check out Stephanie's channel and her music on Bandcamp. Uh... Right, Jesper, not so much of a gamer. It's just having the, the time. If, if if I did more gaming, I wouldn't be able to do this. It's just time. Yeah, I, I, I like playing games, but not as much. Yeah. See, one thing about these live shows, there's no editing. Unless I edit this into a podcast. I'll, I'll do that. I'll usually, usually what I'll do with this, I'll wait till... Here's a little YouTube tip. Yeah, Windows 7 releases a snap. That would be awesome, Michael. That's one for Michael. But a bum bum. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, these live shows like this. Once these are done, uh, I'll wait till YouTube is done processing. I I will download the show, the sh the show, and I'll transcode it into an MP3, truncated, meaning the silent parts are cut out using Audacity. Then I upload the MP3 to the Patreon page as a thank you to all the patrons. So you guys can listen to this at your leisure on your phone or your iPod or in the car. So yeah, but and that doesn't take a lot of time. That 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 that, that, that was the point I was I was getting at, Jesper. Doing that does not take a lot of time because it's only audio, and of course it doesn't have to be in 4K, obviously, you know. So <laughs> or XP. Well, I think we'll pass on the. Uh, pass on the XP. That would be a huge snap. Absolutely. Maybe too big. So, yeah. How are you, Harshal? I am doing fine, sir. I think it's a sir. How are you? Everybody say hello to Harshal. Switch to Linux will have more fire screens. I have to warn you, Switch is a great channel, but man, when he jumps on... I think he's the only guy that can match Spatry in screaming. Yep, so look out. Harshal, I think you are new to the live stream. Everybody say hello to Harshal. <laughs> fire screens, I know. Really, fire screens. I thought about doing like a green screen thing, but you know, it would look cool, but I don't really need it. Yeah, everybody, give it up to Harshal. Come on. Come on, don't be shy. Okay? Harshal, what do you use? Linux, Windows, Mac, all three, Chromebook. Yeah. 98, Windows 98 SC was good. XP was hit and miss. Windows 7 was the best, in my opinion. Ah, Linux Mint. Awesome. Welcome, Harshal. Any more predictions? Any more new people watching? Well, we're going to wrap this up soon because I'm starting to get hungry. It is lunchtime, so yeah. Again, don't forget to check out all the links below in the show notes. Do, 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 do. Difference between zip and tar. Well, they're, bo they're, they're both compressed uh, files. Harshal, I don't really mess with those that much personally, but yeah. Linux Smith, the safe. The safe, the that one, those, yeah. <laughs> so we'll try Manjaro again this year. That might be a a fair prediction. I I may, Serge. Um, I might. Why not? 
Yeah, Tar is a more Linux thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Choice. Okay, Jesper, very good. The safe choice, yes. Do, do, do. I love this song. Hurts so good, blues. I'm walking to a Best Buy. I don't see no boot to machine. I got the blues. Oh, baby, the blues. Got the blues because I can't choose between Windows and Mac. <laughs> All right, I can't sing, okay? Maybe I'll ask Stephanie for some singing lessons. Dell's upcoming Linux laptop includes a fingerprint reader. Ooh, wow, a fingerprint reader. Oh, earth-shattering news, right? Do, 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 do. Anyway, any more predictions, comments? Newbies want to say hello before I say arrivederci. Fingerprint reader, no. Um, I don't use it on my. Uh, Fingerprint readers on my uh, on my laptops. Yeah, I just Serge says Toss will do a live stream with Steve. Um, have we done a live stream together, Steve? Like a live show? I don't think we've been on together, but not really a live show together. That's a possibility. Why not? I'll I'll let you guys in a little secret though. Uh, me and Tux Digital, we kind of tentatively agreed to do a live show on the. Uh, on the Librem 5 phones, Purism 5 phones, and the, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he and I are on the same page, so I just want to let you a little secret, me and Tux Digital, so yeah, that should be fun. Uh, Tar just wraps files into folds, but Tar XC is more powerful. Uh, I don't use very very little experience with tar uh, harshal so uh, yeah we've been on together but not as partners okay yeah that is true so i guess the World champion Patriots lost in their playoff game, huh? <laughs> Microsoft announced that 2020 is the year of the Linux desktop while using a Mac. That's interesting. CJ, what's up, man? Are the holidays over yet? Is it safe to come out? No, not safe yet. Nope. <laughs> Siri becomes gender fluid. <laughs> the family show, Michael. Come on. <laughs> the man's user to use proper pronouns or no response. Names change to reflect current gender. <laughs> Uh, for example, Siri becomes sorry. Yeah, really. Mentioning GIMP to touch Tux Digital and stand back. Oh? Oh? If I want to buy a laptop, how can I check whether it can install and run Linux Pro? I can tell you, Harshal, that ThinkPads, Lenovo's are awesome for Linux. So, and I think if you check Ubuntu's website, there's a compatibility list there somewhere also. But I can tell you that ThinkPad's 100% compatible as far as I know. I don't like how Microsoft is buying influence in the Linux world. Yeah, yeah. New Illinois law, you can select non-binary as your sex for your driver's license. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Touch screens require device consent before each use. Oh man, you 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 guys remind me of an Andrew Dice Clay joke. Can, can, can I say this live? Uh, <laughs> should should I say it? Crime book, yeah. <laughs> Device consent. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the dice man. He's still. Yeah, I think he does Vegas. All right, five-minute warning. I'm going to go eat my lunch. So any more jokes or predictions and comments before I say adios, muchachos? <laughs> Device could sit down. That's, that, that's a good one. I don't think there is much you can safely say. From he has his moments. I remember years ago, be before the age of smartphones, Steve. He had a he had a joke. He says, "You know, everybody ticks me off, even the operator." I called the operator, and he says, uh, "Yes, I would like uh, to place a collect call." She says, "Will that be person to person?" He goes, "No, Bigfoot to ET." <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I haven't seen I've seen his live shows on TV but I've not seen he's a hoot he's still around he does Vegas I think he's definitely a hoot uh, good morning got Linux coming in at towards the end here but I'll stick around a little bit longer just a few minutes uh, well thank you Jesper it is great to be here also with you <laughs> Bring it in dice, say goodbye to her PG rating. Well, this is not a channel for kids, because YouTube now wanted to know, is there a channel for kids? No. Period. It is not for kids, so there you go. <laughs> Hickory Dickory Doc. Yes. Linux users come flock. There we go. Microsoft gets pregnant and gives birth to a Linux baby. <laughs> sure. Why not? We're all one big happy family. Right? Yep. <laughs> here, here, here's a joke for the new year. Um, I'm working on a new book, guys. Yeah. Uh, how to survive falling down a staircase. It's a step-by-step -step guide. <laughs> What would a Linux baby be called? Hmm. Colonel. Die. <laughs> Linux is not so much widespread in Denmark. There's no Danish forums. Oh. Okay. KDE plans new look, new app menu for Plasma. Yep. Anyway. Bacon OS. Well, on that note, I think it's time for me to eat lunch, Serge. Last call for comments, and we're out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep, Bacon OS. The OS for people on a diet, not. <laughs> this was fun. This was fun. Uh, all right. Well, 
probably catch some of you guys next weekend on a live show, on the private show. Again, if you'd like to join us on the private shows, let me know. And check out the links below in the show notes. So, Padre OS. Yes, Godfather OS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesper. You have a great uh, lunch, or I think it's dinner time there, so I'll see you next time, I guess. Have a super Sunday to CJ. All right, guys, I'm done. Thank you for stopping by. And all I can say is, may the source be with you. Arrivederci. <laughs>